Good morning, Patriots! Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Angelie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, November 17, 2021. Scholars, let's get ready for our brain break. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Angeli. Sports fans, last week we told you about the story of the cricket bat. The T20 World Cup was held on Sunday, where Australia won its very first title. They beat New Zealand by eight wickets, which are points in cricket. T20 is a faster-paced, shortened version of the original game, which can last for days. T20 only lasts for three hours and creates much more excitement for fans. This was an iconic win for Australia that has won many other titles in cricket, but never copped this one. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is salami and bologna sandwich, potato wedges, peaches, and your choice of milk. Students, there is a shortage of sporks, so they can only be given to students that are purchasing lunch. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's go back to Angelie. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, we have an ugly sweater party on December 16th. It starts at 6 p.m. and ends at 9 p.m. This party is for all the middle schoolers. It costs $15. This includes music, food, games, and amazing prizes. Make sure to pay by December 13th. Students that receive a referral from November 3rd to December 16th will not be able to attend this party. Administration will review behavior prior to dance. Make sure to save up your money so you can go to the dance. Hope to see you there. Sports fans, girls soccer tryouts are on Wednesday, December 8th. The minimum requirements are a GPA of 2.0 or higher. You need to turn in your permission forms and physicals, and you need to be in the fifth grade and up. Good luck. Patriots, we have started a fundraiser for our Epic Sports Fun Day Color Run. If you raise at least $30, then you can get a t-shirt and a color run entry, and if you raise more money, then you can get even more awesome prizes. Let's raise money so we can go to the color run. And Patriots, today is Fun Day Pep Rally. This is where the first round of prizes will be passed out to all students who have met their first goal of $150. Scholars, tomorrow is 3rd to 5th grade honor roll. Sports fans, our girls basketball team has a game today. It starts at 4 p.m. and takes place at RASG. Let's try to cheer them on at their game. Let's go, Patriots! Scholars, our high school fair is today. This event is invite only. This is where magnet programs come to our school looking for students that fit their qualifications to have a spot in their high school. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Anjali. Hey, Patriots. It looks like today's weather is going to be 82 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly cloudy. We have joined the fall weather, so expect some hazel trees and a cold breeze. Another weather news. In Australia, a dam has spilled, causing a mass evacuation in Wyangala Dam. Strong winds are causing the dam's waves to start overflowing. This is also a problem by flooding other rivers and bodies of water. On the bright side, this is a great opportunity to help more plants grow on our planet. Now let's go to pin in for our new spotlight segment. In one word, what does music mean to all of you? To me, music means life. Music is evolutionary. Music is passion. Alright, how has music changed all of you? 
Um, I mean, for me, music, um, I, I think music has uh, been with me in every journey of my life from being a kid to, you know, growing up as a teenager to now being an adult. I've, ex you know, experienced different things because of music. So um, it's definitely contributed to who I am today. Yeah, to go off my one word answer, music has evolved me in many ways. Different cultures, different sounds, it's all changing. And uh, that word change, music actually steered me in the direction that I am today as a teacher because this is not what I originally wanted to do. I always wanted to be in sports. But music I found, you know, as my, when I was, when I was a student, I realized that that's where my passion was. That's why I said passion is my one word. So it steered me towards music and STEM sports. All right, Mr. Richardson, what is your favorite memory as a music teacher? Um, that's a that's a great question. I, I would say more recently. Um, you know, it's this is the first time in the history of Rex Ponds that we have a team of three. Uh, music teachers and these brothers are absolutely amazing teachers and individuals and I think one great memory was uh, during our most recent uh, teacher planning day we had an opportunity to uh, you know grab a bite together do some bonding and just chatting and you know really get to know each other on a personal level. What are your goals for the year? Oh well uh yeah, two fantastic teachers right here. I'm so happy that I'm here and able to teach each one of my students. I'm so proud of everywhere they've gone, but my goals this year is to make everyone a little more musical inside. Mr. Santiago, what kind of effect do you think music has on your students? Um, the effect I think, well, I always tell them that when they enter this room that this class should be an escape from the outside world. So I, I feel that the effect it's had is that it's provided them with that escape, where they can forget about whatever it is that they're worrying, worrying about outside of the classroom. That when they enter here, that this is a place of peace, this is a place of creativity, where they can freely express themselves through music. Thank you, Mr. Winslow and Mr. Santiago and Mr. Richardson for giving us some insight into your musical minds. Thank you. That was one awesome spotlight. Today's birthday girl is Isabella Redondo. Happy birthday. Let's go back to Angeli. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss June, Miss Miraz, and Miss Anli. You got the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was how much salt does the average human body contain? The correct answer is around 250 grams. Now teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Which bird has the largest wingspan? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday and don't forget, this year, we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!